Yo, what's going on guys? Sam here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, a couple years ago, when Tesla announced the Tesla Semi, I was kind of like, okay, that's, that's kind of a cool idea. But since I bought my Model 3 uh, almost a year ago now, I've been doing a lot more driving. And the more I drive on the highway, the more I realize I feel like half the people out there shouldn't even have their driver's license. Especially when it comes to truckers who are sometimes carrying 80,000 pounds of weight with their entire car. I bring up this idea of the dangerous truck driver because I don't think that in the future, this is gonna be an issue we have to worry about. Chiefly, because of the Tesla semi truck. And they've recently revealed some updates about when it's going into production, what kind of features we can expect to see that I wanna share in this video because after seeing what autopilot can do in my car, I mean, I think it's gonna change everything when you actually get semi trucks on the road. And Tesla's already sort of hinted at that. So drop a like if you're excited, hit subscribe for more, and uh, let's go ahead and jump in. The Tesla semi is actually not a new product, although I've seen a lot of people start talking about it recently, probably because of the updates we finally gotten. In fact, the Tesla semi was slated to be coming out for everybody, well, I mean, I guess people interested in semi trucks in 2019. Uh, Elon mentioned on stage, you order the truck today, you're gonna get it in two years in 2019. Well, near the tail end of 2019, Tesla confirmed, well, we're not exactly gonna be hitting that production target just because they've needed more work on the truck itself. But just a few days ago, they issued another update for the semi truck that uh, has some good news. It's also got a fair amount of bad news from my perspective. So first up, the Tesla semi truck is on track for limited production in 2020. Based on this leaked email in the second half of 2000, 2020, which could very well be December, Tesla said that some production of the semi will be occurring. However, they follow up by saying they need a ton more winter testing. They've seen some incredible results with range and how the powertrain is holding up after hundreds of miles of driving, but they still want to get it perfect. The second big announcement though is actually a bit confusing because it sort of conflicts with the limited production starting in the second half of this year, that the more volume or production complete vehicles will have more details coming out in 2020 so it's the beginning of 2020 when I'm recording this, Tesla already references next year in this email when more details are gonna come out on the final product. Obviously that's a bit confusing because if you're one of the first reservation holders, are they saying you're getting like a 75% feature complete truck and then we'll, we'll trade it out or you get this one early but even better changes and more range and a better powertrain is coming out a little bit later in 2021. It's unclear and in fact, while they reference more details coming out in 2021, they don't even say we expect volume production then, just the fact that there's gonna be more details on the truck. Now I don't bring up this information to criticize Tesla and simply say, you know, here you go, here's another issue with Tesla, they can never get the release dates right. I think they are certainly overly optimistic with so many of their release dates, but I think the moral of the story here is that this is going to happen eventually. And while with the Model S and X and 3 and, and probably even the Y, they can push out some heavily flawed units to early adopters who will still be broadly happy with the product. When you're involving logistics here and trucks are going from point A to point B day in and day out and other businesses are acquiring those trucks to get there on time and not break down and not have issues. Tesla doesn't really have the option to go, you know, halfway here. They don't have the option to volume produce a 75% of the way their truck. They have to get it perfect or no company is gonna buy this truck. That's what it's about at the end of the day for businesses. Are their products gonna get there on time? Is it gonna be cheaper than what they have? And are there going to be repeated issues with the product? If Tesla can answer all those questions very well, if it is cheaper than normal trucks, then these things are gonna sell like crazy. But on top of the fact, what I'm most excited about is the enhanced autopilot functionality because driving next to trucks is dangerous. And every single time I'm in the car, my Model 3 and a truck, you know, starts sliding over a little bit, people on the right side of my car freak out. and rightfully so, because we're a little tiny car and they're a huge truck. Tesla's done some really cool stuff with uh, like the bandwagon, how they're gonna have like three trucks going down the line. It's gonna be way safer. They claim 10 times safer than humans driving. They've got the cool blind spot detection on the side of the car. Uh, I mean, this truck could very well change the way logistic companies work. Obviously, aside from solving how much CO2 is put into the air from these diesel trucks, Tesla's also trying to make them safer for everybody. And with the cool blind spot detection with a dual pan, panels on the interior with enhanced autopilots, uh, a tired truck driver might not mean the end of someone's whole life one day. And I think that's something that I, I haven't heard enough about. I've been driving next to these trucks before. You've been driving next to these trucks before. You know how terrifying it is when they don't notice you there and they start coming over in your lane. Every one of these trucks is equipped with autopilot and they're doing the thing where they've got three or four in a row 
all doing the same speed, all knowing what each other are doing. Obviously, autopilot's never gonna be 100% fail-proof. That's not what we want. But if we can make it safer, and Tesla says they've got really promising results about the range, the safety, the functionality of these products, that is going to be a big deal. And I just haven't seen enough people say, well, yes, it's gonna be electric, so it's gonna be better for the environment, and it could be a big, you know, you know, two, one billion, two billion dollar industry by Tesla by 2025 or 2030. I think the biggest thing everybody's overlooking is just how safe these trucks are gonna be with autopilot. So those are some updates on the Tesla semi truck. It is still coming. It is not canceled. It's just that, you know, you can't order one online. Like at a, if you're a smaller shipping company, for example, you're still gonna have to wait until probably early to mid 2021 before you're getting everything that was promised. So that's all I have for you in this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe for more and I'll talk to you all of you in the next one. I say y'all of you all the time. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.